under the CPP Troubleshooting Simplified series. Today we will see about transfusion reaction on CPP. Transfusion reaction can lead to hemoglobinuria, DIC, decreased BP, increased heart rate, bronchospasm, erythema, urticaria, pulmonary edema, shock, anaphylaxis, organ failure, eventually leading to death. It can be caused by human error, failure to follow approved hospital transfusion policy and procedure, idiopathic transfusion reaction of unknown cause. The precautions to be taken to avoid uh, transfusion error uh, Develop protocol for transfusion during CPB approved by the blood bank. Double verification of patient identification and product labeling prior to transfusion to verify blood products for blood grouping. Correct storage of blood products in OT before use. Vitals monitoring and completed transfusion record should be documented by the perfusionist on perfusion record. How do we manage the transfusion reaction? First of all, call for help if transfusion reaction is suspected. Stop the transfusion, disconnect the donor blood product, examine blood product ID grouping and determine whether it is for correct patient. Send remaining blood product to the blood bank. Document incident report as per your institutional policy. Maintain intravascular volume. Prepare for hemodynamic instability. Maintain urine output at least 1 to 2 ml per kg per hour. Send patient blood and urine samples to laboratory. Consider the following medications. Furosemide 0.1 mg per kg. Manitol 0.5 grams per kg. Dopamine 2 to 4 micrograms per kg. Epinephrine 10 micrograms per kg. Hydrocortisone 2 to 5 mg per kg. Diphenhydramine 1 mg per kg.